This week, we installed four huge solar panels and run all the plumbing for the bus. We also had to move, so we carefully coaxed the bus up Scott's mom's very narrow driveway. Since we are building an off-grid bus, the solar system is a huge component. It is really exciting to see it finally going up. We are starting by installing the four 315 watt panels onto a tilting roof rail system. So we have an extra set of hands on deck this weekend. Scott's brother Bart's helping us out with the solar panels. Beautiful scene, right? I know, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Get towards me. Have a look in. You can pull in five mil here. Yeah. We need that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, pull it in. <laughs> yeah, we've got enough. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Oh, sweet. Sweet. All right, take her off, mate. Um. How about we drill the other ones and then we go for more at the same time? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, you're through. Commit. <laughs> this is what I have to do. Just commit. Go. How much more have you got coming? You all good, bro? Yeah, I'm just feeding it further down the wardrobe. Okay. Okay, we've set the first rail for the solar panels on the roof. We've positioned what height we're going to have them on and run the cables. And yeah, yeah. that's about it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> a long day. Lots of thinking. Lots of thinking. Yeah. yeah. We're putting in some rubber stoppers to help protect the roof from the rails. these risers down a bit because uh, they're a bit too long for what we want for our roof. So these are our brackets that we're using to extend our solar panels up. Here's some extra sun say during winter and stuff. They're a wee bit long so we're just going to cut them down to about 300 and then it'll work perfectly for how we want to install on the roof. So this here is our shortened extension bracket that will raise up the solar panels. Underneath we've got little rubber stoppers to help support it. Finished rail before the solar panels go. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> That's a great sound. disappointing you can clearly see two forklift impressions in our smashed solar panel hey babe yeah so last panel uh, last panel it's not going up so i just hope we can uh, get a new one it's soon like it's like... so this is the last time we're pulling out from the front lawn we have to move the bus because we have to move out of this house. So we're going to try and shimmy it up Scott's mom's driveway. <laughs> we have to move out of the house we've been renting all winter. But we also need a few more weeks of building before we can hit the road and finish everything else as we go. So this is the driveway we have to try and navigate the bus into. While it's narrow, the street that we have to turn from is even narrower. So we'll see if we can do this. Some people thought it couldn't be done. We uh, <laughs> squeezed it in here. Hmm. Couldn't park it much closer. <laughs> So a few more weeks with family in Christchurch, then we are free. So the replacement solar panel arrived and uh, yeah, they've been treating it really nicely. They've been walking all over it. Ah. Carefully walking in our fiberglass roof. It is also time to finish the plumbing we started a few weeks ago back at the old house. Okay, so this is kind of our plumbing from the bathroom and the laundry. Plumbing planning. Plumbing planning, yes. The mumbling uh, mess back there is uh, contemplated drilling a big fat hole in the bottom of our bus. Nike. 
Hi, Key. Yeah, just do it, mate. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're going to be drilling a hole for our plumbing. A pilot hole. A pilot hole. A pilot hole for starters. I hit metal. Did you not expect to hit metal? No. There we go. underway. This is our fresh water tank back here. Scott's plumbing up our water pump. <laughs> Plumber guy this uh. week. <laughs> and behind the spare tire here under the bed is our big 400 liter fresh water tank feeding the system. This line here comes from the tank through a filter into our pump accumulator then into a sender that tells us how much water we've been using then this is the valve where we can shut this part of the system off and plug in here and turn this on and go on to mains water or we can just use this as a outdoor hose or water or whatever very cool yes <laughs> we have a big hole in the bus We are supplementing our solar system with a few gas appliances. The Suburban Nautilus on demand water heater being one. This is where our water heater is going to go. Inside the cupboard and then grey water next to that. And this is Jute saying hello. Hi Jute. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yep, got it. We're bolting the water heater to the floor of our cabinet, and it goes through the frame on this side, actually. And the exhaust will come off here. We really like the tankless units since they are lighter and more efficient. So this is our suburban Nautilus water heater, all plumbed in and ready for gas fitting. Along with all these big jobs, there are a million loose ends to tie up as well. Not a fan of plywood, we cover some of the built-ins with leftover wood from the floors. Today we'll get some very welcome help from a friend helping us sort out some of the trim. It's solely from, from, you can go from, you can go from here that way, just not near the back. I've had my 15 seconds of fame. Have <laughs> you? Yeah. That's right. Actually, now it's 1.5 seconds of fame, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All these finishing touches make such a difference. So nice. Really cool. Thanks, Neil. Right, so the bus is a hive of activity at this point. We're trying to wrap a lot of things up so we finally can get on the road. But uh, we're getting there. So thanks a lot for watching. We love you guys. Yeah, subscribe. See you next, See you time. next time. See ya.